Hey guys! So it's been a really long time since I've recorded a lesson for you and that's because we've been on other units that have been doing different things and I can't believe we're to this point where I'm having to record this lesson. It means that we're getting late in the year and that you're growing up and that you're almost an entire grade bigger and it kind of breaks my heart because you're all still supposed to be my babies and you're getting big. <laughs> okay, moving on. It means it's that time in the year where we need to learn how to formally, officially type. You guys are about to learn how to type. Are you excited? Are you? I, I can't hear you. All right, so if you're learning how to type, that means I've got to show you how to get there. You all know how to get to my wiki. So you're going to go to my wiki. Go to the box, click, click, go to the top, click, go to our school. J, if you watch them, enter a countdown 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, go all the way to the bottom to Miss Whitfield's World. Click, and that gets you here. When you are here, you are going to go to my technology page. The very top. First link under keyboarding practice on my technology page is registered typing club accounts here. And you notice, remember when it's just a cursor, it won't click on anything. When it is a line, it's not going to click on anything, but when it's a finger, it'll click. Now, this is different than when we go and we mess around on typing club and we practice. It's the same program, but I've registered you guys accounts, which means it's going to keep up with your progress. It's going to give you specific lessons based on how you are moving and how you're progressing. And that is the Register Typing Club account right here. So you're going to click here. It's going to take you and it's going to ask you for your username and your email. Your username is on your, on your login card. And so, sorry, not your username or email. Your username and password. Your username is on your login card. Your password is on your login card. It's going to be the same that you use for our desktop computer. So when you are on black screen and you go and you type in your student ID number and then you type in that password, so the long number at the top and the shorter number at the bottom, that is what you're gonna use for your username and email. I have a dummy account that I've created for myself. So I'm typing in those numbers and my password numbers. Sign in. Don't let it save your password. If it asks, tell it no, thank you. All right. You are all going to start at the beginning right here. Boom. You're going to go click start. It's your lesson plans. Typing Jungle is the lesson plan that we're using right now. You're going to click start and it's going to start you. So we have to listen. You're going to have to put your headphones on and you're going to have to listen to the very first lesson. So when you click this lesson, it's going to go through a little bit of an introduction to typing with you. Now, my first graders and second graders and even my kindergartners we're all gonna sit here and we're gonna watch this lesson together. From here, I'm going to trust you to make sure you listen and to practice. It's going to give you instructions on how to go through this. And you know, if you have a question, just raise your hand and a teacher can come help you. The very most important thing you have to learn though are your home keys. And this video right here is gonna teach us about that. So hold on one second, we're gonna watch this together on the carpet. like a pro. Let's start by setting up your finger positioning. Look at the F and J keys on your keyboard. Do you see the bumps on each key? Close your eyes and feel for the bumps using your two index fingers. Take your time, but don't look. Did you get it? Your index fingers should always find their way back to F and J by feeling for those bumps. Now curve your fingers and bring your other fingers down on the next three keys on either side. This is called the home row position. For example, to type the letter U, your right index finger will travel up one key and then quickly return to the bump on the J key. Okay, before we start, there is only one rule you must always follow. Never ever look at the keyboard while typing. If you follow this rule, your index fingers will quickly learn to find their way home by feeling for the bumps. Fast typists forget about the keyboard and don't even realize their fingers are at work. They feel one with the computer. After some practice, you'll start feeling it too. The computer becomes a part of your body and your mind is in full control. Let's get started. 
Okay, so it's gonna ask you to type the F key, but remember, we have to take our two pointer fingers, and those have to go on the F button and the J button where the little humps are. So I'm putting my finger on F and J where the little humps are, and then I'm lining my other fingers up on top of the keys right beside them. So I have fingers on the F, the D, the S, and then I have fingers on the J, the K, and the L, and my little pinkies are floating up top. Now it's gonna ask me to type the F key. And I see that the F key is lit up, so I know where to find it. My pointer finger on my left hand is going to be the one that types it, F. Now it's going to ask me to type the J key. Uh, J key. The pointer finger on my right hand is going to type it, J. Great job. Then I need to hit the space bar. The space bar is that long bar at the very bottom. And do you know what finger you use to key on the space bar? Anybody guess? If my fingers are like this and my space bar is on the bottom, what fingers am I going to use to key my space bar? Yes, my thumb. All right, so I'm going to press space to begin, and then it's going to have me type. So do you see how the blue um, the blue line is under the F, and the blue F is lit up? I'm going to type F. All right, I got it. It turned green. Now I have to do it again. Now I'm not just typing it with any finger. I'm typing it with the correct finger. I'm typing it with my left pointer finger, F, F. Now my right pointer finger is sitting on J nice and lightly, so I'm going to go J, J. J, J, J. All right, it wants me to go F again. F, 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 J, 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 J. All right, and you're going to keep going. It's going to start mixing everything up for you. Remember, whenever you need to do the space bar, your space bar is down with your thumbs. You let your fingers sit lightly on it. You don't press down on everything until it's time. And when it's time to hit space, is when you use your thumb. I use probably my right thumb more than I use my left thumb, but they're both resting on there nice and lightly. All right, guys. So first, go to Miss Whitfield's Wiki. Second, go to the technology page. Third, you're gonna click on the Registered Typing Club accounts, and you're gonna put your information from your, from your login cards in, and that gets you into your very own Typing Club account, and you're gonna start, start by watching the video again, the video that I showed you on here, the video at lesson one on Typing Club, watch that. And then um, go ahead and get started with your F's and J's. And if you need help, raise your hand. Peace out. Good luck. I can't believe you're old enough to start typing. Bye. Bye.